There are a lot of warframes that can go fast, but which is the fastest? Hello everyone, Sikto here. Today I will be talking about top 10 fastest warframes. Before we start, let's talk about how we measure them and how we build said warframes. We'll start from here and end at exactly here. If the warframe speed scales of duration, range, strength, and sprint speed will put all the respective mods in the most optimal way on the warframe. Also, we'll get each one a usability score, depending on how sustainable the speed is and how comfortable it is to use. Before we start, comment below what you think will be the top 10 fastest warframes. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start. At number 10, we have Wisp. Her speed is a team buff and she gets a usability score of 10 out of 10 because even without any sprint speed mods on, she's quite fast and can give the refreshable buff to all teammates. At number 9, we have Wukong. Wukong's type of speed is very unique as it has the highest agility of all Warframes, coming with usability score of 10 out of 10. Also, you will not take any damage in cloud form. As a bonus, you can also go through lasers without triggering any alarms in spy missions. At number 8, we have Neja. Boasting both a speed buff and a teleporting power, Neja's agility is top tier, coming with a usability score of 9 out of 10. And that one point off is because you can only teleport to your halo before it hits its max range, making it a bit tricky to pull off. At number 7, we have Volt, boasting the strongest team speed buff in game. Easily 10 out of 10 usability, you can see why it's go-to speed frame for most people. At number 6, we have Sarin, an unexpected warframe for sure, even I didn't expect her to score this high. Even though stat-wise, Sarin and Volt have exact same speed buff, Sarin is faster because her speed buff is instant, while Volt's speed buff has a small charge-up. When you start sprinting, you are not max speed, then you go faster as you move though with a usability score of 5 out of 10 because the duration on it is fairly short and the ability itself is fairly expensive. At number 5 we have Gauss. Even though Gauss is quite fast in a straight line, his type of speed has very poor agility and is quite expensive, thus would get a pretty low usability. But because his base sprint speed is the highest in the game by far, he gets a 6 out of 10. And unlike what I expected, red line doesn't affect his speed. At number 4 we have Hydroid, being yet another unexpected warframe on this list. Hydroid has a very poor usability at only 3 out of 10. His movement is very sluggish, you can't get out of animation till duration is done, you are very likely to get stuck, and when you get out of it, you lose all your momentum. But there are two things holding it from getting an even lower usability score. You can cast it midair while aim gliding, so you'll fly, and it doesn't cost more than 50 energy. Now we're into top 3. At number 3 we have Zephyr, having basically the exact same thing as Hydroid, except in any direction, not limited to ground, but still has the getting stuck problem. Though having only 25 energy cost and not losing your momentum is a pretty compelling offer. She gets a usability score of 7 out of 10. At number 2 we have Nova. With her wormholes, Nova can teleport, so she can be extremely fast. And not just that, allies can use her wormholes as well, making it somewhat of a team buff. But because this ability has literally no agility at all and costing 75 energy at base, it will get a low usability score of only 4 out of 10. But the speed that she provides is so significant that in certain situations it is a good idea to have a max range build on her. And at number one, we have Titania. Titania is so fast, I don't think human reaction time is fast enough to move without getting stuck in closed spaces. Being the only frame in game that can outspeed a freaking Arcwing without any external buffs. And with her recent changes, she can also blink like an Arcwing though not really needed given how fast she is. And her type of speed is not just movement, it's fire rate, it's reload speed, and in reality, it's damage. She also has a top-notch agility due to her augment acting like a gearbox, giving you 4 different buff levels. She gets a usability score of 10 out of 10, and you can make a normal build around being fast that can last 2 minutes if started with full energy. Were any of the Warframes I mentioned the shock to you? Tell me in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Have a good day and bye-bye.